day that I am able to finally set up my kitchen. So um, it has been a busy few days around here just trying to get everything unpacked and then we had sports starting all at the same time. Our two oldest started a new job. So mama has been busy and we need our kitchen set up. process of moving into a new space. It is just so therapeutic for me. I love figuring out where everything is going to go, getting everything um, neat and orderly. I just, I actually live for those moments. <laughs> I don't know if that's sad or not, but I just love this kind of stuff. And if I could have been a, profession, uh, or a professional organizer um, for a living, that probably would have been my dream job. That and event planning are two things I just absolutely love doing. So right here I am just getting um, all of the plates out. Um, I wanted to do this cabinet to be all of our dinnerware, so the kids' plates that they use on a daily basis and the plates that our family uses on a daily basis and have those all in one spot.
back to the silverware drawer trying to figure this out if it looks like I'm obsessed with clear containers and little bowls it's because I am <laughs> I absolutely love these clear containers the ones that I'm using most of them are from the home edit line that um, they sell at Walmart um, they're really good quality I love them they all stack which is great um, and I just like that it keeps everything organized especially when you have um, a lot of people in your home that are putting things away it really helps when there's um, everything is defined like what goes where so people can easily see um, where things go and then things usually get put back in the right place that way and the little bowls all the little bowls my kids just think it's so special when they get something on their plate that's in an individual bowl. They just love that. Whether it's a condiment or goldfish or fruit or whatever it is, it feels very special to them. And um, so I love to have these little containers to use to make their little meals um, feel more special. And it also helps to keep things separate, which they love. You say all the right things when I'm hurting. You always pick me up when I am down It's like you have a spark that leaves me burning yeah, You just have your ways to get me high You make all my dreams come true It feels right When I'm around you We could break up and then make up I always come back to you, you move in a way, never thought anyone could you get me high. You're my drug when I am feeling blue. Yeah, it's all you. Cause you're the one. Yeah, the one. Yeah, you're the one. Yeah, the one. You touch me in a way that makes me shiver Sometimes I can't believe that you are mine Love's a gun and baby you're my trigger You kiss me in a way that gets me Good. 
kitchen. So I wanted to show you guys the kitchen and dining room area. So we were able to find this table. You guys you know I love a good deal. This is a solid wood table. It's handmade by the person that we purchased it from. Really sturdy legs. Like this thing, you cannot even nudge it. Like it's not even moving from this spot. Such a great deal. Um, it will be a little bit of a tight squeeze on the end because in order to get 11 of us here, uh, we have to put two on one of the ends. We have two right now, but we don't actually need that. Um, but anyway, I found this table on Marketplace. You're never going to believe the price. $85. <laughs> All the other ones I saw were like $700, $1,000. I mean, the cheapest one I could find was $550, and I didn't even like it. Um, I was even looking at like conference tables. So the chairs we already had to $85, such a steal. Um, I love that it already has like a little bit of wear to it. So it's not the kind of thing that I have to worry about, you know, being cautious with or if the kids accidentally ding it up, like it's just gonna add to the character. So I really love that. And then over here, um, I don't know if all of the extra stuff will stay, but right now I have this sort of buffet table here. I need to put something down there um, and then the mirror I want to hang up here um, but I just want to like kind of lay everything out what I think I might like before we put any holes in the wall so that's over here and then that's the door wall um, hold on my battery is dying so let me change that real quick okay anyway um so and then there's the doors that go out to the patio we haven't set all of that up yet um, so then moving on in here I brought this in um, because I wanted to have a place where the kids could easily access the fruit and there's a nice large wall here and there's plenty I mean that still allows four feet or more for a walkway so I thought I would kind of tuck this over here and then we can use this for our fruit station and then there's nothing in the baskets right now but I'm going to use them for um, like extra diapers and things like that I like to have them on the main floor and then I'll probably have diapers and wipes in um, these drawers and then moving into the kitchen, we have this little drink cart. I really do not want um, drinks on the countertop, so that's a pet peeve of mine. So having like a little station here for the kids to keep their cups, they can easily access them, um, works really well. And it's just a little skinny um, three-tier shelf. I got it at Ikea, I think it was like $12. Um, so it's plenty of space here for everyone to keep their water bottles. And, um, and then over here I have the three bar stools. I would like to sell these and get um, a set of four, ideally with backs, because some of the little kids, um, it makes me nervous just how they sit up there, especially gray. So, but we'll see. But for right now we have them, but it, there's definitely room to put four bar stools here. So I would really like to do that. Um, and then moving on here. So my idea is to keep this island space um, totally clear that way we can use it for serving if we want to but also so that we have like a prep station a baking station all of that um, you know and it's always nice and clear plus I just really like the countertops to be as clear as possible I do have our two jars here these are the ones that I usually keep like some kind of goodie for the kids in like suckers and then like our peanut butter pretzels or something like that and then um, our paper towels, I do have on my list, I would like to get like a glass tray um, for the soaps, because as you can see, like if they're wet, this will go away, but I just, I wanna protect the granite, so I wanna have something for those to sit on. And then there's a nice window here in the sink, and then we have our Berkey here. It's the only place that it'll go because it's taller than the um, cabinets. But it works nicely because then we can just easily refill it right here. And then right here, I just have a little tray for Mike and I's drinks. Um, we can't keep, like if we have anything besides water in our cups, the kids will drink them. So I do like to keep these up just out of their way. And then right above here, we have like our medicine and nighttime bins and first aid and stuff like that. Um, so these are things that we occasionally need at night. It also has some kid medicine in the back. This is just like everyday kind of stuff, Tylenol, Motrin, things like that. <clears throat> Pardon me. And then up top here is like first aid. So band-aids, antibiotic ointment, that kind of thing. And all of that fits perfectly there. And then over here I have just like my little notepad 
and then where we keep um, the kids toothpaste and toothbrushes so that we can help them um, in the sink so I like to have those down here otherwise I forget down here I have like our kitchen hand towels wash rags and then these are new towels back here that I just tucked away in case I want to use those for like when company is over or something like that and then down here is where we have like our parchment paper our uh, plastic wrap foil uh, storage bags all of that it's not the best layout I would rather have like a large drawer so you could see everything um, but I needed to use those for something else so and then under the sink color here is um so I tried to have this really organized I, I want it to be like a space that's useful so over here we have like our cleaning supplies our soap refills this container is my dishwasher pods this is for garbage bags we just feed it through here so you can easily pull it and then this drawer has our like plastic bags like grocery bags things like that that they give you at the store and then in here I have some of this stuff on my list um, it'll be like refill so this is my steam mop the extra pad for that um, the like sink drain stop this will be full of magic erasers and this will be like extra dish scrubbers so and then I don't have I would like to get one of those little hooks that go over the door for the hand towel but for right now that works and then dish um, the dishwasher and then down here um, I actually forgot I had this cabinet so I moved a few things around so down here is where we're putting like our baking pans so my muffin pans cake pans um, cooling racks things like that and there are still a few things at the camper that I need to grab but um, this little space is a little bit awkward so I wanted to make sure that whatever we put in here we can easily grab and then right above that is like our junk drawer um, I mean it's not really junk but you know so scissors thumbtacks paper clips um, tape and these are extra lead refills for the mechanical pencils and pens so I like to have this in a place where I can see it so the kids are not getting into everything and then in this large drawer here we have all of our silverware um, that we use on a daily basis and then the kids plastic silverware um, and then this is like our measuring cups and um, all of that I like to keep two sets so we can if we're baking we can have one that's obviously for wet and one that's obviously for dry and our biscuit cutters and then back here I have lots of these little containers because they come in really handy with the kids um, like if we have salsa or queso dip we'll use these little ones and if they have ketchup or anything like that we'll use these and um, sometimes we put little treats in these for like movie night watch out baby um, so I like to just have these little um, containers on hand so all of that is right here and then underneath here so my plan was to kind of have everything together I want to make things easy so because right here we have like the measuring cups and spoons I want this to be like the baking station so our canisters with our flour and sugar and all of that are still at the campers so I'm going to bring those there's four of them and those will go right here um, Lincoln also really loves to bake so I wanted everything to be um, at a level where he could easily grab it and not he wasn't pulling it down from a cabinet um, I have a lot of big bowls still in the garage so then I need to go grab those and add that but this will basically be like the bowls and um, the baking ingredients so that everyone can easily grab those and then up here right above this cabinet or a countertop is this area so I I want this entire bottom shelf to be our bread shelf we always have a lot of bread um, and there's never really a great place for it where it's not going to get smashed so we're going to keep all the bread on this lower shelf and then up here we have the toaster there's an outlet right here behind um, the paper towels so if somebody wants to use the toaster they can easily oh, focus okay they can easily just pull that toaster down um, and use it and then here's a little cutting board if they need to slice their toast um, and here is our butter dish and then because we go through butter frequently and I like to have softened butter um, I just put this little plastic container with an extra pound of butter in it and a lid so that it doesn't leak and mar up the um, shelf there so 
And then up above, I just have more baking supplies since the baking station is right below me. Hang on, sweetheart. So it's a large measuring cup. These are the glass bowls. These are lids that go to that glass bowl. And then my sifter. And then over here, I have little storage containers. This is baking supplies like sprinkles and um, food dye birthday candles things like that those are my mason jar lids and just extra lids for like our glass milk jars and then over here is our to-go containers or like our leftover containers so right here is plastic ones that we usually use if we um, are going like on a picnic or something like that and then here's glass ones with the lid behind them and then again um, just the bread here on the bottom okay and then moving over to this side where the stove is um, up above here is where I put the all of our plates and like dinnerware. So we have this is what we use like when we're eating as a family. Um, these are all of the different kid dishes. They're little stainless steel ones and the different ones that we um, use. This little container is we have a rag that we use to season our cast iron pans and we just keep it oiled up. Um, and so that's just for that right here next to the stove. And then up above are our little baskets and our wax papers, some wood bowls that my um, daughter loves to use, and then paper plates for when we need those. And then down here on the counter, I just have my life plant, a little candle, a few of our favorite cookbooks, and then this little um, Lazy Susan for right here next to the stove. So these are things that we will use pretty much every time we cook, like our kosher salt, pepper, ghee avocado oil i do have a glass jar here that holds olive oil um, and i just don't know where it is yet and then our utensils that we use on a daily basis for cooking and then in this drawer here we have all of the other items that we would use along you know with cooking so these are like cake servers and pie servers um our serving spoons i believe some of these are in the camper because they weren't in here um our whisk these are the specials that we use for our iron skillets. Um, these are the large items. So this is a, a huge spatula that my husband uses for his pizzas. And then our tongs. Um, back here I have a potato masher and um, a potato cutter for like french fries. And then right here we have all of our different ice cream scoops, our can opener, a bottle opener, and our garlic press. Um, this is for our metal straws. We also have other straws. I just don't know where they are. And then back here is basically items that we rarely use because they're not super easy accessible. So it's a knife sharpener, um, water bottle, like rubber labels. I have a helper here and a pastry brush for it. Hold on just a second, okay? I'm going to show my, our friends and then, um, and then we'll look at it, okay? So that is right here um, to the right of the stove. Okay, and then under that drawer right here, I have um, like our iron pots that we use, um, a lot of like our cast iron stuff. Our pots, it's the only dishes that we use actually, so our cooking um, stuff, and uh, our cast iron pans. It's like a grease guard and our cast iron um, griddle. And then our strainer, our colander, cheese grater, our Pyrex is back there, and our hot pads. So this is stuff that we pretty much use on a daily basis. So I wanted it right here um, by the stove and then right underneath the utensils. Then we have the stove and in the bottom here, I just have our cookie sheets. So that's where all of our cookie sheets will go. And then the microwave and up above the, and then up above the microwave is where I have like all of our oils and vinegars and things like that. And then in this container is raw popcorn that we use, Mike uses anyway, to um, make popcorn for the kids. Okay, and then moving over here, um, this is like our drink station. So we have our ice maker. Our fridge does have an ice maker, but it makes like really hard ice. And because I'm anemic and I tend to chew ice, even though I try not to, I still do it. Um, I want the ice maker because this ice maker makes really soft ice. So if I'm going to be chewing ice, at least this does less damage to my teeth. So that's the way I look at it. So this is like a drink station, ice maker here, um, and then our the kids' coffee. I don't drink coffee, and Mike uses a French press. So this is basically for my teenagers here. And then their coffee maker, um, and then this knife block because there's really no other place to put it. 
And then up above here, we still don't have all of our glassware, but, um, and we don't have a place for our keys. So those are sitting here, but these are like Bella's um, iced coffee glasses that she uses, um, regular coffee mugs. And then we just have, um, well, I don't know why we're not focusing here. And then we just have like our regular cups. Um, so this is our spice drawer. So these are the ones that we tend to reach for on a daily basis, the smaller ones. And then these are our more bulk spices. I would hold, um, keep these like somewhere else as like back stock. Um, but some of these spices we use often and we don't have in the smaller version of it. So this works, there was room for it. and up in 